it's a lovely morning on day four here. You can see the refuge we stayed at last night. There's a building just up there. And we're just walking down into this valley, just facing the sunshine. Uh, we've got, I think like 20 k's maybe today. So, so we're on the road early, it's 7.30. Uh, we both slept pretty horribly in the like dorm room, um, but that's okay. And we're, yeah, we're on the move. We had a breakfast of uh, bread and Nutella and, <laughs> and Nick had cookies. We weren't too impressed with breakfast. Which kind of makes us glad that we're like we're doing our own thing most of the time with the camping, so yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, you just got some lovely views, watching the sunrise down the mouth valley, it's pretty amazing. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention before, we had to do some minor surgery on my foot. <laughs> Um, I just had a blister that I needed to pop. Um, Nick, do you want to go down that way or that way? We've got straight down. Straight down or road. <laughs> and you wonder why that little Japanese lady's beating us. She just popped, she's almost at the bottom. Like you can't even see her. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because she's skinny. It's because she's fast. We could be fast too. Um. Yeah. So I just popped a big blister, which didn't actually hurt, but just uh, get rid of the fluid. I think I don't actually know. I hope is the best way for it. Feels seems to feel okay, but we're going downhill at the moment, so there's no pressure on my heel, which is good. But I, yeah. Can't get bit much better than this. This is one of our high points today. Um, but we've still, we've got a big descent down into Komaya. And then we're going up the other side of the town, so yeah, but look at these views. Can't get enough. Mouse and his nappy pad on. The lady was saying it's in like a hundred euros for like a helicopter. Shall we do it? Yeah. <laughs> do you get a good photo? It's more than a hundred euros. Yeah. like villages down there. Yeah. Probably like where we're gonna end up. No, we end up down that other side. You can see the lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall we take the ski lift? <laughs> we're uh, currently walking down a pretty much a ski field. There's like ski lifts all around us over that way, over that way. And then like where we've been walking before, we've been obviously ski lifts. We just had a break for lunch, did more repacking. Um, and yeah, we're just making our way down into the town of, right here, of Komaya. It's probably not how you say it, but I can't say many of these words right. And yeah, and then we've got to climb basically back up to higher than what we are now to our refuge so we've got yeah a decent afternoon but I think we've done really well this morning with our time we've been able to move a lot faster just because we've kind of been on undulating ground not uphill so yeah it's been good anything to add can't you? Nah, you've said it all as per usual. <laughs>
keep moving. I don't think. Yeah, we're getting lower. I don't think anything annoys me more tramping in Europe than tramping right below a bloody gondola. Why are we not in the gondola? Mr. Purest Mouse. Oh my god, you can't even walk properly. Oh, stupid gondola. <laughs> At least we're making some pretty decent descent. Yeah, it's pretty steep. It's pretty steep and it's also not currently but in the um in the shade in the forest, so <sighs> yes. Oh Europe. But it is good because what I do like seeing is how there's so many people like out and about and it doesn't limit it to anybody, which is good. Everybody can see the mountains, which they should be able to, but it makes me grumpy too. <laughs> Do you know where we're going? Do you know where we're going? Yeah. We're just wandering through the town of Paul Mayer. It's actually a really pretty town. This isn't um, Kumaya, this is at Dai Oh. Does that mean we have to walk to another town? Yeah, we cross the river and we're there. Ah. Oh. Okay, so we're actually in a town called what? What's that? I doubt it's going to come here. Uh, the Lone. Oh, yeah, there's the TMB trail marker. We're going in the right way. <sighs> We just arrived at Refugee Butone. Oh my god, I'm so proud of both Nick and I. We had an epic day, like, oh, it's, we left at 7.30 and we got here just after 5.30, so we've been going for like 10 hours. And the last like two hours was just, yeah, it's really steady uphill, so, so proud of us. It's been awesome. Um, and we had the loveliest welcome when we got here. Um, one of the Canadian guys we met on the first day. He was like, oh, the Kiwis. I was like, oh, that's so nice. Um, but yeah, just so happy we're here. The last two hours was, oh, it was just steady uphill. It was a real slog, but it was good. I'm so glad we're here. Um, Oh, we're pretty excited. We just got into our room, which, um, for when you've been camp uh, tramping for 10 hours, it's pretty amazing. And look at these epic views. I don't know if, how well you can see out the window, but <laughs> epic views out our window. Oh, we're just so stoked. Oh, that was a massive day. And we've just been talking to our Canadian friends and one of them couldn't believe that we'd come this far. And it just makes me feel so good. I'm like, we we're not crazy. No, Nick, you cannot have social media. <laughs> no, no. I'm on WhatsApp. No, just WhatsApp. Yeah, I'm on just, yeah. Yeah.